great experience to be here and to sit in this energy, in the state of this frequency. And that's really what resonance is. It's, it's about frequency. And to feel that frequency and to come into alignment with it. And, and this is something that we do that with as well. That's in alignment with space time, with consciousness. That's what the Resonance Foundation is. Resonance is a, uh, a phenomena of vibration that is actually what creates our universe. Because without resonance, there would be actually no form. Because it would all just be chaotic interaction of waves. Resonance is what actually defines the fractal scaling of the universe. more conscious in our world um, a better place it's high in silica right yes very high in silica right so it's it, to you know to cut this you require again like abrasion is not ideal right you you'd have to have really advanced technology very advanced technology not chisel you cannot go at these blocks with a chisel and a hammer, you'll just shatter it, right? So how do you make a joint like this with a chisel, with a copper chisel? You see a combination of technologies, one that's really primitive, which is how they extracted the stone to make milling stone and to build their houses and whatever with, and that has been confused with the builder's technology which was clearly doing something much more advanced and much more difficult to do, uh, making incredible surfaces, polished surfaces over hundreds of thousands of stones, in some cases millions of stones. They found Oh, they found it. They found it, a granite laying around. <laughs> and they moved 200 foot. I swear to God, this is the story. Mm -hmm. He said, they must have did it with a happy heart. That's all what they what did. Oh, yeah. so literally, literally well, from the book, it says that. That will happy heart. Sure. Sure. With yeah. a happy heart. <laughs> yeah. When you got a happy heart, you just pull this stuff up, okay. no problem. Yeah. The tensile strength of that material yeah. is insane. It should be a beam, right? Yeah. It's nothing, beam. It's well, nothing it's we have. Circular today a 50 ton block okay and it makes the corner okay so you have such a massive block it's a beautiful block and you can imagine now you have to take a whole layer off this block all the way down here so that you have just a little bit left to make the corner So the quartz is uh, grown in Japan and it takes, I believe, five years to grow the quartz. They grow a slab of quartz in the laboratory from a seed. It's very, very high grade quartz. Uh, it's all, all the molecules are aligned in one direction. So they mark the axis. And there's also little tiny magnets in these arms that rotate. The 64 hexagram and then in this orientation, is um, the flower of life structure, right? Can that which, you know, what people call the Metatron Q, right? Which is the, the power of Metatron. So you're welcome, you guys, to fill it. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty strong. Um, if you fill one, right? Uh, you can feel it typically in your hand um, because it's structuring water in your body near that region. Uh, surface that we can actually bring that coherent. 
and, and, and embody and, and access the proton free energy devices that we are. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the geometry, perfect circular plate. And then the, the, the curve of the plate, mm -hmm. right? Maintain it throughout the whole geometry. This is representing what we call it the jet pillar of the Zyrus. They supposed to put on top here something like uh, gold or silver to imitate the three ribs. Or yeah. or that, uh, Look at that detail as well. There's a, there's a, there's a rim, mm -hmm. roll, rope kind of thing, detail right there. Yes. So that means there's an undercut. Exactly. They cut yeah. all the way down. Yeah. America or in Russia, it's only in uh, Egypt, in uh, Sudan, Ethiopia, and it could be also in South America. Okay. spiritual concept that we're all one and we have to have the science that actually connects to that or else our science and spirituality have to be one or some one of them's wrong so in the sam has come is to show how there's a singularity in the center of every galaxy and every planet you know the unity movement um yeah. Working together as a as a species, it, it it's it's so fulfilling. You know what I mean? To to know your neighbor, to know your brother, to know yourself as one humanity. Um, it's it's the most paramount thing. The individual becomes fulfilled because he's connected. Okay, shiny, not shiny. Oh, yeah. But here, at the edge, is shiny. Look, you can see the two drops moved one after the other. Oh, right. They were leaking from the side. And also here, a drop here. Because we think that if there was something here, it's taken out, okay? I believe maybe before the disaster, before that place was closed. Because no one can open this lid un unless we deal with the original builders. The original builders who can open it and close it, okay? Because one important thing, with this heavy weight and this height, no one can push, okay? Even if we are in a reasonable height, still, because they will be together like two pieces of magnet, okay? With the heavy weight, in 18 tons. So we could prepare some machines to do this. Actually, it is very long and going to the right side, like L shape. Oh, it turns? Yes, it turns. We don't know why. So I think, my own opinion, that this was far away at the end. Hmm. Maybe, I'm not sure. I think when you discover it for yourself, it changes everything about the way that you live. Like when we come into harmony with all of life, everything about our life changes. We come into the current of our purpose. We kind of move in a synchronicity with life and everything becomes more harmonious. The universe works. And so if you entrain your behavior and your thoughts with the natural tendency of the environment that you're in, then you can actually literally go with the flow and experience less resistance. Because it's essential that we remember who we are and where we came from so that we can create the future that we all want to be a part of. It is beneficial for all of life.